to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Tasha Cadence and here is the seafood news for the week of June 22, 2020. In this week's episode, we get up to date with the vegan seafood and the future of the plant-based meat market. The world's meat and dairy industries have seen increasing disruption from plant-based alternatives, becoming a massive trend within the last decade. According to numbers released in December of 2019, the plant-based meat market is worth just over 12 billion US dollars and is projected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 15% from 2019 to reach a value of around 30 billion dollars US by 2025. The plant-based meat market is segmented into soy, wheat, pea, and others like quinoa, oats, beans, and seeds. Soy is the most commonly used as a base ingredient for plant-based pork, beef, and chicken products owing to its high protein content and meat-like texture. Of all U.S. households, 14% purchase plant-based meat, which equates to approximately 18 million households and continues to grow. A Deloitte study explained that the driving force behind these numbers aren't only vegetarians and vegans, but so-called flexitarians, who are cutting down on their meat consumption while trying their hand at something more eco and health friendly. Supermarkets have responded to the growth in the market and are significantly increasing the shelf space given to plant-based products. In order for this growth to continue, companies are looking into adding different ingredients and flavors as their next step to keep the interest afloat. Now where does the vegan seafood market sit? moment, pho seafood is a very small market in the food supply chain. Tofu and soy-based imitation meats and seafood have been used in Chinese Buddhist cuisine for years, but remains underwhelming and undermarketed. In the US, the country with the most vegan seafood startups, plant-based seafood made up only 1% or $9.5 million of the dollar amount of all retail sales of plant-based meat in 2019. And plant-based meat, in turn, made up 1% of total meat sales. Total research and development on alternative seafood has only amounted to 10 to $20 million so far. While seafood remains difficult to veganize, with a growing customer base and new technologies, there are already multiple options on the market. These include tomato-based tuna, algae-based shrimp, deep-fried tofu wrapped in seaweed, and legume protein coated in herbs and oils. The taste and texture of seafood is still particularly hard to mimic, and the reviews of these products vary widely, predominantly stating that the products that don't strive to exact the profiles of seafood, but instead emphasize a unique flavor and texture of its own, are optimal. These products contain no soy or gluten, and also provide options for people with shellfish allergies, which is one of the most common in North America. The majority of these products are sold frozen or canned for shelf stability, and companies tend to focus on perfecting one individual product rather than branching out to multiple simultaneously. The seafood industry remains predominantly untouched by the vegan market, but if we've learned anything from the meat industry, we know the vegan alternatives trend isn't going anywhere. We'll be keeping an eye out for the latest updates as this market continues to grow. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Tasha Cadence reminding you to stay safe, buy smart, and eat more seafood.